压盘手，啊，比较奏效，十比十二，又到正手区了。mal Überschnitt in diesen Aufschlägen. Ay ja. Hang hang ye ye. Now all 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 四比二，哎呦，高调弧圈切一板，哎、切一板，好的。This peculiar serve from Ochirov will start us away. Fünf Neun aus der Sicht von Timo Boll. Oder auch die. Toll. Okay, the top block is a great shot to try and use uh, to mix play up a little bit, to add a little bit of variety to your game. It's a great opportunity to change the pace, uh, to change the spin, and just change the dynamic of the game and the rallies in general. Uh, it's a difficult shot to execute, uh, but like anything, if you spend a bit of time trying to develop it, then it's absolutely a shot you can add into your game. So the technical elements of a chop block, the best timing is to try and take it as early as possible. It doesn't need to be a really big stroke. If you take the ball nice and early off the bounce, then you can use the pace on the ball to help create that spin and the pace back over the net. Uh, so the common errors with the, the chop block is trying to chop down the back of the ball. If you imagine there's lots of top spin coming at you, if you try and chop down the back, there's a good chance that that ball is going to pop up. So we just want to turn the racket a little bit to the side, so we're hitting a little bit more of the side of the ball, and then it's a short, sharp action here, down the side of the ball. If it's a little bit slower, you might need a bit more of a bigger action. If it's a little bit quicker, then you might use a bit more of a, a shorter action on the ball, okay? Just like when you're trying to create heavy topspin, you want a nice brush, the same applies for the chop block. A nice brush around the side will help you create that extra bit of spin. So, as I said, it's a great way to change the pace in a rally. If you're playing an opponent that is struggling against a slower pace, then it might be something you actively try out from the table. So I've used that early ball to execute the, the chop block because it's an easier option for me rather than trying to topspin or block because I'll be too close to the ball. Okay, so it gives me an extra option when playing my competitive matches. So now, I'm going to try and return Craig's chop block. We're going to play out a few points to a few rallies where Craig does his chop block. I'm going to try and return it, see if I can return it, see if I can win any of the points. Let's see how I get on.
what I found difficult playing against Craig's chop block was, well firstly the change of speed. The ball was really slow.